College Football Live is brought to you by AT&T and Wendy's new spicy sriracha chicken sandwich for a limited time only. Baylor's new head coach Matt Rule is big on the discipline and development of his players, which makes him a good fit for a Bears team surrounded by controversy. In his formal introduction to the school, Rule made it clear that the culture will change and the expectations are still high in Waco. And so I think there's some non-negotiable things that you can't do. You can't, you can't hurt women. You can't hurt people that are, that, are, uh, that are less fortunate than you. I mean, you can't bully other people. Um, you know, so but that, that was kind of the way I handled it at, 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 at Temple. So I'll handle it the same way. Um, I think the biggest thing, though, is, is, is starting to really invest in, the, in, in these guys' lives because these guys are, 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 are great kids who are doing everything right. Number one, we want to win championships. We want to win the Big 12 championship. We want to win the national championship. I didn't come here for anything else. We want to win at the highest level because we should. Wow, so a tall task ahead of him. Marcus, will Rule be the answer to the questionable culture at Baylor? We shall see. I, I, I think that was a strong statement coming out. That's exactly what he needed to say. But when you talk about culture, obviously there was some work to be done within the program and with the players. But he's talking to a lot of people in Waco. He's talking to a mm. lot of supporters of that program. And those are the people that, that need to hear Matt Rule clearly about where they want this program to go. And, and let it be no false perception about college football. The culture in college football doesn't only lend itself to the players and coaches. It lends itself to everyone else around that program. So I thought he was talking to the administration. I thought he was talking to supporters of the program. I thought he was talking to big time boosters. And in order to shift the culture, you have to have those folks on board also. You know, Marcus, I, I heard what he said, and I nodded my head, and I've heard so many people say, wow, that was such a powerful statement. But, but where in America do you have to say those things? I mean, who doesn't at understand? Who, I you mean, what, what, person, what person with common sense doesn't know you're not supposed to hit women, bully people, and, and, and beat up on less fortunate? You, you're right. The only place you have to say that is Baylor because they don't know any better at Baylor. Uh, that culture there is, is so bad, it's so pervasive that you have to say it and be praised. And, and you're not talking to the administration because there's all new people in the administration. You're talking to the people on the Board of Regents who enabled this program for the last 10 years. Guys, here's what it comes down to. You heard him talk about culture and you heard him talk about winning he better be talking to himself because at the end of the day, he has to ask himself the question, when my star player gets in trouble, what do I do? When my star defender gets in trouble, what do I do? See, because our brows and his staff, they turn the other cheek. They look sure. the other way. And when they look the other way, they did it not because they were bad human beings. They didn't do it because they were afraid. They did it because they wanted to win. And ultimately, the job of every college football coach is to win. And if yeah, Matt, but Booger, if, hold on a second, Booger. If you look the other way, you're a bad human being in my book you're, well, you're not you're not just trying to win you're okay. a scumbag yeah no okay. doubt no doubt that's listen but, but, but I, I get what you're saying but right but they're trying to win paul and he's got to make a decision now that i'm going to put cleaning this program okay. up front number one and then winning second and the administration has to be on board with that in three to four years from now if baylor is not winning they can't say you know what no, well he cleaned right. the program up but you know right. what we're still going to fire him so it has to be a team effort with the two sides Paul, can he only achieve all of this by cleaning house, getting rid of Art Browse as former assistant coaches, everyone else involved with all the scandal? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I think that's the most, I mean, you have to clean house. I mean, you can't allow uh, those, those cats to hang around. They, they did so much damage even after Art Browse was fired. Molly, I, I don't want to be a hater here, and I don't want to be a pessimist, because I really like Matt Rule. I, I think he has a chance to be successful there. But, you know, it, it, it's going to take more than words. And he said the right thing. Now he has to do it, as, as Marcus said, and he, and he has to change that environment there. And that environment, more than anything else, has proven in the past that they want to, they want to win. They don't care how they win. They just want to win. And can, can, he, can they suffer through a couple of lean years while he's trying That's the key, to clean Paul. it out? And, Paul, I totally agree with you. This, this program has been distasteful. And, and also, like you said, even what they did after our brows left. So in order, look, Matt Rule is starting 
ten hundred yards behind, which is a thousand. Right. He has right. to begin. He has to come into a program and rebuild that. Rebuild something that has nothing to do with football, right. and I think that's a different that, that's a different scenario for a coach, especially in his in his position. Leaving Temple, going to Baylor is a step up because you're playing in the Big 12. But with that being said, if this administration, if these board of regents, if the people around the program don't understand that Matt Rule has to clean stuff up that has nothing to do with football before he can get to his winning ways. Baylor will be in this spin cycle for the next 20 years. You know, to try to put a positive spin on this, guys, think about this, though. They did it at Penn State. I mean, Penn State was in a terrible situation, okay? Bill O'Brien, James Franklin came in, and they cleaned that program up. And now Penn State was in consideration for a college football playoff spot, and now they're in the Rose Bowl. So to give Matt Rule a pat on the back, yeah, you have a long road to hoe in front of you. You have a tough job. But if they can do it at Penn State with the scandal they had, yeah. I feel very confident that Matt Rule can do it at Baylor. And Baylor did give Matt Rule a long-term contract, so hopefully that points to the fact that they're willing to be patient as he takes care of the things mm -hmm. off the field, and then Molly, hopefully let Matt through that rule. the wins will come. <laughs> let Matt Rule? Let it took Matt you, Rule. Just, hey, it took just you a, a while to come play on that words one, huh? there. Yeah, that was a good one, though. <laughs> yeah, that was really this good is, <laughs> This is why you're here on the show today. All right, coming up, should individual stats outweigh overall team performance?